Hello and welcome back. This is Double O Debbie and this is episode 10 of my Minecraft Stone Block Let's Play series. <laughs> and today we're back here in our Stone Block world to bring to you grid power. Dun dun dun. Okay, uh, let's do it. Let's get over there and get it done. Um, I was debating on where I wanted to put it over the room over here for the grid power, but if I go this way, it's going to interfere with our room over here. So I just made a little room out this way. And this will be for our grid power. Uh, so... I, I opened up a bunch of the loot bags that were over there in the chest and it had this inner chest in it so I put some stuff and things in there uh, that usually is in my inventory uh, so yeah we'll put that there so we can have something to craft nearby oh also while I was hanging around, we actually had some normal vanilla mob spawns. Well, ocelots are vanilla mobs, but we had like a cow, a chicken, and a rooster spawn over here. Roosters aren't really vanilla Minecraft, but it's, it's an animal. But I used the net and I caught them. I caught a chicken, a rooster, and a cow. So yeah. We got that. <laughs> uh, so I figured we could always use them for later, you know, once we get into that. So today, what we're wanting to do, once again, I pushed tab to open up my crafting window, is, um, oh, not X, Fibra. Uh, what we're wanting to do is to work on our grid power. So, um, what we need is, do, 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 these are all generators. Um, let me see if I can find it. Yes, we need the way to make the stone burnt. We have to make this resonator. And the resonator is made with a block of coal, two redstone, and a resonating redstone crystal, and some iron. So we have, um, Yes, I, we have some redstone and some iron, which we might want to get uh, some extra iron. I've been going up and, um, oh, what is that? Aluminum. I grabbed stuff out of the chest up there and brought down to smelt. This thing is still going good. It's a... Uh, hopefully going to be a lot faster getting a lot more stuff at the end of the day so the resonator um we need this resonating redstone crystal so we need one of our ender shards that tore down the other day so yeah that's not a thing because we had some already ready so there we go. That was the hard part. Now we got to get the block of coal, which is going to be upstairs. Um, I can't wait to like tie all this stuff in with, uh, you know, I like having different rooms for things spread out everywhere, but at the same time, I like having them all interconnected with like a network of stuff of, you know, computers and stuff. So, 
So refined storage or, you know, the, the AE2, whichever we get to get around to doing first. Right now we have some ME storage disks, which will help immensely. Um, so yeah, that's a thing. So this resonator is going to make stone burn, but we're going to need grid power in order to get the stone burn. Uh, and the stone burn is what you use to make the things that require grid power. So it's sort of a vicious cycle because we, we want like um, these water mills. Uh, give grid power for adjacent flowing water blocks. The higher the level, the more GP. Uh, source full water blocks do not count. So each one of these will give us some grid power. So we got, we got a little area in the back uh, set up to do this. Uh, but if you look, it takes the stone burn and these redstone gears and a resonating crystal and those are pretty simple but again we have to have power uh, a grid power to produce the stone burn so in order to get that going we got to get this manual mill which is going to take a resonating redstone crystal and some polished stone uh, this is actually not regular stone, it's polished stone. So you have to take uh, stone bricks, it looks like, any kind of stone brick, and that gets you for polished stone. Uh, so we can do that real quick. I made a, a stack of stone in here. And then we can just make bricks out of it and then boom polished stone excellent uh, so what else do we need for this guy uh, where to go where to go where to go is up here the manual mill we have our polished stone we can um, also make another resonating crystal we're right here to grab this little guy out There we go. So resonating crystal, stone burnt, and I think we need the redstone gear. So we're gonna need four redstone torches. Oh, that's a... There we go. And, oh, that was around a plank, not a log. So we're going to need some planks. There we go. So let's, what, like that? There we go. There's our mill. <laughs> so it doesn't really matter where you put this. Let's just put it right there and we'll put our resonator right next to it so the stone burnt where is it is made by putting polished stone in there so we're going to need more stone i thought it was just like cobblestone but you can have stone turn into stone bricks and then turn into polished stone um I want to make like six of these, so we're going to need six times six is 36. And we have two, well, we're going to just, uh, we're going to have to make 36. Like that. Okay. So, um, let's go ahead and put those up there. And we'll go and throw these into our stone burnt machine. 
And it tells us we don't have any power. It takes 0.4 power. So we have to turn this. If you just look at it and right click once, it will sit there and uh, generate grid power for you. Uh, until you get enough to make all the stone burnt. So then as soon as you look away or move, it stops. So <laughs> that amount of time got us two stone burn. As you can see, we have like four grid power right now. Uh, so it generates over time with the manual mill instead of like being instant with one of these things. And then once it builds up to eight grid power, it makes one stone burn. Uh, so we're going to need six in order to make one, but let's look at what else we need for the water mill. Where'd you go, water mill? There you are. Uh, so we're going to need six of these and 12 of those. Oh, that's a lot. We barely have enough. Whoa, we're not going to have enough redstone. We're going to have to go up stairs and get some more redstone. Uh oh. Did this stop working because of the grid power thing? Uh, a lot of the times when you have something that's overloading your grid, like something that's requiring more grid power than you have, like all of your extra utility things stop. They just stop. They don't work anymore. So I think that's what's going on right now uh, because I have the uh, the mill back there that is, uh, yeah, that's what I, because it's got three gravel in there. Oh, and these are all extra utilities machines too. It says grid is overloaded. So, uh, yeah, <laughs> as long as we have these back here. So what we want to do is we want to do enough to get six of those stone burnt. But let's go ahead. No, oh, that's not what we wanted. We wanted to make two redstone gears. Oh, we need the resonating crystal. We need one of those little shards. Um, actually, we're going to need all of those. We're actually going to need another one because we want to make six of these. And I, now that I think about it, um, I just want one. Holy Jiminy. Now those only stack to eight. Let's throw that back in there. And we only need six, so yeah. Okay, that's all we need. Um, let's go ahead and make these up. Six of those, and then we need... We actually need 12, so we need uh, more sticks. So let's go ahead and make our little uh, thing. So that'll get us three, but we need, do I, I, don't, I don't have any more sticks on me. But I know where to get them. I do. Some right here. So we're going to need another 24 sticks for the torches. And then we're going to need 
Yeah, we're gonna need six more of those. There. Now we have everything we need besides the stone burn. And what we want to do is we want to get one made so that we're then generating the grid power. And then we can take the mill down. So we have four, so we need to let it cycle through to eight twice. And here we go. Oh, sorry about that. I accidentally nudged the mouse. There's one. And here we go, here we go, here we go. Two, okay. Now we should be able to make our first water, water mill. Um, yeah, I think this should work okay. Now brought some water. We're gonna need two of them. Uh, so each face can produce on the side can produce not on the top because if you put a, I, I'm curious if I put a water block on the top and it flows down, <coughs> does that count? No power use generated. No, it doesn't. So it has to be like in those corners, like that, and then that'll flow that way and that way, and this one's flowing this way and this way. So now it's generating four grid power for each face, and that is awesome. And that will, if you can see here, it's creating grid power, so we no longer need this guy here. Uh, so we can, boom, take you up, and there we go. We can get our other two buckets out. And see, when we put, um, actually, I was planning on putting three on each side, but I don't know that that's going to work. It, it should. As long as I put, no. Yeah, I'll have to put the corners the same as these. Otherwise, if I put uh, the block here and put another block here, no, I don't think that'll mess it up, but I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. How are we doing here? Oh, yes. That is awesome. We got a second one. So we want it right here. Oh, look. That's already going. Uh, but I don't think it's at full capacity. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That should work. So now we're getting 32 grid power. And this one's generating 16. And this one's generating 16. So there we go. Now we're going to need to go get some more water buckets for the rest of them. And that's how you get grid power. Um... <coughs> Now, normally you would have to make these um, speed upgrades. You have an ultimate, a magical, and then just a normal one. The normal ones stack up to four. It says max upgrades four, and each one takes one grid power. So it consumes one of your grid power. So if you look at that, each one of these takes one grid power, but they stack into a uh, different one. So, cause each machine only has so many slots where you can upgrade. So if you get the better upgrades, it, it will make your machine more powerful. So here's two. Yes. 
So the other one goes here, and then we could put there, and there. And none of the uh, water sources interfere with each other. So now we're getting 48 grid power, which is awesome. I think this actually starts um, having diminishing returns once you get so many. So four, we're still good, but I think on the fifth or the sixth one is when you start getting uh, diminishing returns. So you don't get like the full 16. You lose out, I think it was like a 10% penalty. So you lose 10% of your power when you start adding more machines. So I don't remember exactly. I only did this like once. <laughs> And there we go, it's almost done. Let's go ahead and get this one. And then we got one more. And then we want these to be in the same position as the other one. There we go. And then we just need our last three. Just about to get there now. Awesome grid power, grid power, we've got the grid to the power. Okay, so here you can see that it has an 11% efficiency loss. It's only producing 14 grid power once you uh, get to that certain point. So, yeah, now all of them are losing 10% or 11%. I think it, was it just the, the, the sixth one? I'm curious. Oh, so it's 7% on the fifth one. Okay. And then 11 on the sixth one. So you get full for four. But that's okay, because uh, now we have grid power. We have 64, uh, well, 85. So we have some of these upgrades that we've gotten from our loot chest. We actually have two here. Um, but what I want to do is maybe stick some of these... Uh, Actually, we don't have enough, so and you you can see down there it says power penalty level eight. It would be nine point seven eight grid points. So that's cool that it tells you how much grid points it will consume for the whole stack. Because we want these guys to hurry up. Holy schmoly! Yes! Oh man! That is awesome! So, for 30, so not even half of our grid power, we just way increased our uh, production of gravel. I'm hoping that this... Um, <laughs> filled that in that this battery back here that I can't interact with at all is uh, going to that that one I don't know that does take uh, like 4,000 RF per action so each cobble is going to take 4,000 RF I don't know if that's going to be enough. We might need to I filled it all in. Oh yeah, look at that. Go down. Holy cow. <laughs> well, 
I think I looted another coil, so let's go grab it and see if that helps. Um, it doesn't say how much a tick. It just says it's 4,000 RF per action. Hey, Spidey. Come on down here, guy. He's like... It's like, heck no, I ain't coming down. Looks like we killed the witch. And we got two patient bags. We're not really ready for that yet. So let's see if we can get another specter coil out of that. We just got another bucket and lots of soul sand. Ooh. Still nothing that uh we didn't get another spectacle bill but that's okay uh, we got that which doesn't stack and that doesn't stack i'm pretty sure everything else yeah. um the obsidian i'll leave it over here because that hopper that we have is full and I'm putting the food stuff up here. Although those other chests are probably going to get full soon. So let's go put our other specter coil on there and hope that uh, that can uh, help it to better keep up. Oh, it's going up now. Sweet! <sighs> Crisis averted. So, we did what we set out to do. We uh, got our grid power going and got these guys upgraded. And that is amazing. Oh, look, it tells how much grid power it's using on each one. It's almost 10 per. That's okay, though. It's definitely worth it. Let's go see up top how it's affecting our sieve setup. Oh yeah, look at that. It's got all nine of them. Before it would do like five and then two and then five and then three. And now look at it. It's all like, oh, I'm going to do nine. Yeah. So this is a lot faster than uh, an auto sieve. You would have to pretty much get nine auto sieves to equal that. Holy Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, next episode, we're going to try to probably uh, sort things out of this chest. I don't want this. Uh, sort things out, pull them out of the chest, and put them into uh, these uh, drawers. So we're probably going to make... man we're gonna make one of the drawer controllers and what we want is um, we're gonna have to do deal with our ore chunks uh, so we'll look at that because um, some of this stuff like the lapis uh, the lapis and the coal, all of this coal and all of the lapis and all of the emeralds and all of the diamonds and this grains of infinity, they're going to just get pulled right out. And they're going to go into their storage drawers. But we have to take these um, chunks out and auto craft them. So I was looking at the, I think it was RF Tools, the auto crafter from RF Tools, um, because it can deal with multiple recipes in one block. And that, uh, that way I can pull it out of the chest, send it to the one block, 
and then we'll be good. Uh, then we can then take it out of that block and send it to like a uh, actually a pulverizer would be good. I think we could do we could do a crusher from extra utilities. because we have some grid power left over so we could speed it up so it could handle all our different orbits um, which would be nice orbits <laughs> all our orbits <laughs> all of our or chunks uh, then it can crush it down and then we can make a furnace I think extra utilities actually has a furnace now too so we'll probably look at that and then we'll just go ahead, crush the stuff down, double our ore, and then uh, smelt it up. That way we don't have to use the smeltery because the smeltery is a little bit tricky. We can just use that to, um, pro to create alloys until we get into uh, thermal expansion more and can, or Ender I.O. and can use the alloy smeltery or the induction smelter to create the alloys a little bit easier. <clears throat> so, yeah, that's what we're going to do next episode. We're going to sort out all this stuff and get it processed so I don't have to go down and sit at the smeltery and, and do this all manually. Because look at it. It's going nuts. <laughs> I might need to actually put uh an off switch on here just so i can turn this off for a little while because this is going to build up and it's going to back up the whole system so yeah we're going to just uh i think i think i can just create a lever i'm not 100 percent certain if this is going to work let's go try it out so we can uh Turn this off until we get ready to process the stuff. Uh -huh. So what if we just put that on right there? Oh, it looks like it's still going. Anyway, we're going to call the episode here. Thanks for watching and bye-bye.